Start at the right side seat cushion. In front of the cushion is a small plastic release lever. Pull the lever up to release the seat cushion latch. Fold the seat cushion forward. Right side is shown. Repeat these steps for the left side. With the seat cushion folded forward, remove the carpet from below the seat. Pull it up at the corner to detach the clip, red arrows. Pull the carpet out from under the plastic trim, green arrows. The right side is shown. Repeat these steps for the left side. Peel the carpet away from the body floor and support it out of your way. I have mine propped up with a steering wheel holder, red arrow. Even though the fuel pump is located in the right side of the fuel tank, green arrow, you will have to peel away the carpet to expose both access covers. Remove the six 8mm access cover fasteners as indicated by the red arrows, then lever the access cover up and remove it. Next, you have to unscrew the fuel pump module threaded collar, as indicated by the red arrow. There is a special tool made to do this. The tool has notches that match the teeth on the collar. Loosen and remove the collar. However, if you do not have this tool, you can use a brass punch and a rubber mallet. Using the brass punch and a rubber mallet, tap the threaded collar on one of the ridges counterclockwise to loosen. Once loosened, unscrew the remainder of the way by hand. If the collar is damaged during this process, you will need to replace it with a new one. Remove the collar from the fuel tank and store it in a safe place. Gently lever the top of the fuel pump module up to free it from the tank seal, green arrow. Slowly lift the fuel pump module top up and remove it. Then pull the seal out of the fuel tank, as indicated by the green arrow. Next, you will have to remove the lines and the electrical connectors at the fuel pump module. Press and release the tab, red arrow, and pull the electrical connector straight out to remove it. Then press the release tab, green arrows, in towards the line and hold it. Then slide the line off the fuel pump module. Next, you have to remove the lines to the fuel pump housing. Both lines, red arrows, pull straight off the holders and lay them aside. The level center has to be detached from the fuel pump module to fit out of the fuel tank. Spread the black retainers, as indicated by the red arrows, to release the tab, green arrow, and slide the level center up out of the module to remove it. Feed the level sender out of the fuel tank. I leave it connected to the fuel pump module during this part. Be careful not to bend or damage the sending unit. Slowly lift the fuel pump up slightly out of the tank, then remove it straight up. Have a bucket or plastic bin inside the vehicle with you. Catch any dripping fuel with a cloth as you remove it. Then immediately place the fuel pump module in the bucket to minimize spilled fuel. Remove the fuel level sender, red arrow, from the old pump module. Disconnect the electrical connectors, green arrow, noting their position. Then transfer them over to the new fuel pump module. Slide the new fuel pump module into the fuel tank. Then attach the fuel level sender to the retainer and position the module in the tank so that the line connections are facing the left side of the vehicle. Reattach the fuel lines and electrical connectors to the fuel pump module. Hand tighten the threaded collar. Then tap it tight clockwise with a brass punch and a rubber mallet. Fill the fuel tank with about two gallons of fuel before attempting to start. Once you are sure that the fuel pump is operating normally, Fill the remainder of the fuel tank and check for leaks. Once done, reassemble the interior. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.